Okay, so there is a new website that you can use to make money with print on demand that is 100% free. And seriously, when I first saw this website, it truly blew my mind. Yep, and guess what? It's not Etsy, and it's not Redbubble, and it's not Amazon Merch, and it's not even Shopify. Nope, it's this website here, Fourth Wall. And the reason why it blew my mind is because using Fourth Wall, you can sell high quality merch from one of the best and most popular print on demand providers, Printful, 100% for free. Yep, for free. You can sell products from Printful and pay no upfront printing or shipping costs, which means you can start a store even if you are broke. Seriously, it might just be the best kept secret currently right now within the industry. So let's check it out. Now, if you've never heard of Fourth Wall, I'll quickly explain what it is. It is a free e-commerce website builder. Using this, you can quickly set up a print on demand store with Printful. And it was actually co-created by one of YouTube's biggest creators, Philip DeFranco. And if you've never heard of him, he runs his long-standing commentary news channel discussing trendy topics online and internet celebrities. And well, he co-created Fourth Wall to be a quick and easy way for creators to set up merch stores. Although, as I'll show you, you do not need to be a creator or to make any content at all to set up an e-commerce store on Fourth Wall. Nope, anyone is allowed to set up a store 100% for free. And what is quite remarkable is that to make it easy for creators to create merch to sell, Fourth Wall has a partnership directly with Printful. So if you've never heard of Printful, well, it is one of the biggest print on demand apps in the world. I myself use Printful as one of my print on demand apps and consistently my customers give their products a five out of five star review. So here's how it works. When you're setting up your free fourth wall store, it'll ask you if you'd like to add in any of their print on demand products. Well, most of these are just secretly printful products. You just pick an item like a t-shirt and customize it. And then you list it in your store. And now each time that somebody buys it, Printful will automatically see the order, print the t-shirt, package it up and ship it out to the customer. But here's where it gets really crazy and it's this. You do not have to pay for that product in advance. Nope, instead, Fourth Wall will be the ones that collect the money the customer paid and deduct the production and shipping costs and then purchase the item on behalf of you from Printful. And then, as long as you have $25 or more in your wallet, Fourth Wall will then send you the rest of the money as a cash payout. And so, as I said, it's actually quite remarkable because it is the only way that I know of that allows you to sell print-on-demand products from Printful 100% for free. The store is free, the web hosting is free, and even the products are free, which is really unusual in this industry. Because you see, here's the thing, right? If you instead chose a different type of e-commerce platform to open a store on, like Shopify, Printful is not 100% free. Nope, because while it is true that Printful has an amazing integration with Shopify, which I personally take advantage of, it does not cover production and shipping payments. Nope, you see, instead, when somebody comes and buys a product from me in my store, Shopify does not deduct the production and shipping costs from it. Instead, Shopify will send me all of the money that the customer has paid, minus some processing fees, which is honestly fine since I get to keep all of the cash, but it does take one to two days for my bank to process the money that Shopify has paid me which is tricky because you really need to pay Printful the cost for the production and shipping immediately, otherwise they can't make and ship the product to your customer. So as you can see, it's a bit of a cash flow problem. You'll have the money in two days, but you also need it right now. Of course, there are solutions to this problem. One solution is to use credit cards, which I do. I pay for my products with a credit card, then I pay it off before any interest accrues when the money arrives two days later. But I do know that not everybody has a credit card or access to spare cash in the meantime. And so for those people who have been looking for a solution to this issue, thanks to Fourth Wall's unique Printful partnership, this might be a good one. Of course, in saying this, like with all things in life, there is no best business or best website. There are just different websites and different businesses that each have their own pros and cons. And Fourth Wall is no exception. This website also has pros and it also has cons. For example, one con that I'll show you later is that while you can customize your store, you will have a lot less options compared to say Shopify. 
And another con is that the products can be more expensive. For example, take the popular Gildan 18,500 hoodie on Printful. Usually this costs $21.95. But well, Printful has a discounted monthly membership. You can either buy it for $25 a month or like I do, qualify for a free account based on sales volume. Either way, it will discount products for you a lot. For example, with this discount, you can get that hoodie for just $17.75. But if we head on over to Fourth Wall, you'll see that they are only selling them for the $21.95 price. So you can see what their gig here is, can't you? Fourth Wall will let you open a 100% free store with them, and then each time you sell a product on their platform, they will buy it directly for Printful for the discounted price and pocket the difference as profit. So it's kind of a you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back type of deal here. But yes, as you can see, each has their pros and their own cons. Fourth Wall is not better than Shopify, and Shopify is not better than Fourth Wall. Nope. For me, I'd personally never switch to Fourth Wall since I do make more money selling products with Shopify, since it means I get to keep that extra $4 for each sale. But if you needed to open a store 100% for free, then this could be an amazing option for you. All platforms have their own pros and their own cons, and the question is, which one's pros and cons match up best with what you want? And so then, if you think that fourth wall sounds interesting for you, I've created a free video course here today on how to set up a zero-cost print-on-demand store with fourth wall and Printful. So to get started, come and click to create an account. You can sign up with third-party apps like Google and Apple if you prefer. And then after that, you'll just need to enter in your store name. You'll also need to add in a social media handle. Don't worry, you can change and delete this later. And then that's it. Fourth Wall will create your store for free. So let's get started by adding in some products with Printful. To do that, just come and click on products and then click to add a new product. And on the pop-up, select to design something new and now you'll be inside of Fourth Wall's product catalog. And well, if you've spent any time inside of Printful's catalog, you will see that the items in here look very familiar. Yes, Fourth Wall does actually have some non-Printful print-on-demand partnerships as well, but most of the products in here are definitely Printfuls, and you'll quickly recognize them if you use the app a lot like I do. Either way, select a product to sell. For me, to get started, I selected the Bella Canvas 3001, since that is my favorite print-on-demand basic t-shirt. Once selected, click to customize the design, and then inside the product design, just come and open up the design that you want to print onto it and place it onto the product. You can now drag and drop it around the printing area and place it where you want. You can also click the preview button to get a preview of how your design will look once printed. This is a good way to make sure that you like your product placement position. And then once you've got your design placement right, if your product comes in multiple colors, come and click the color tab. Then choose which product colors and variations that you'd like to sell. You can click the little color icons on the side of the screen too to switch between different variants to make sure that you like how it looks with your design. And once you've finished, just come and click next. And then once it's finished processing, you'll be able to fill in your product page details. If you aren't sure what to write, you can use the inbuilt AI writer to create a product title and description for you. And you can keep rolling it until you have one that you like, which you can also customize if you want. Then just set your product price and then click next. And that's it. Fourth will ask you if you wanna publish your design automatically to other products. I would probably recommend skipping this since I prefer to pick my products myself. But yes, just like that, we've created a Printful print-on-demand t-shirt to sell. And you know what? Speaking of creating print-on-demand products to sell, it reminds me of today's sponsor, me. Yes, due to the fact that there are tons of shady YouTube sponsors out there that are scamming people these days, I have decided to just sponsor my own videos instead to let you know that if you would like to learn how I use apps like Canva to design print-on-demand products to sell, then you should be sure to check out my free ebook, The Six Steps That Six Pick Your Online Stores Follow to make over $10,000 a month with print-on-demand. You will find a link to download my free ebook in the video description below. But anyway, back to the video. So just go ahead and add all the products that you want to add into your store. And you know what? I'm not quite sure why, but when I added in all of my products, Fourth Wall would list some of my products as hidden drafts and other products as live ready to sell products. 
I don't know why it did this, but either way, switching them from draft mode to live mode was very easy. Yes, just click on the product that's hidden to open up the product page editor and click the hidden draft button and change the product to be public and live and click save. And that's it. So then, once all of your products are live in your store, we can then move on to customizing the look of our store to make it look unique to our brand. So to do that, click on site design and then you'll be directed to choose a theme for your store. Don't worry, you will be able to customize the colors and pictures later. For now, browse through and pick a layout that you like. You can check out the different versions and color schemes of each theme as they all come in different layouts. Plus, you can also open up a theme and preview it to see how it will look once it's installed in a store before you choose it. And then once you've previewed a theme and decided that you like it, select to start with this theme. And now it'll be automatically installed and you can customize it. So get started by clicking to customize the style and click to add a logo. Then just drag and drop your logo into the logo box. And if you don't yet have a logo, my tip here is that you can use the free design app Canva to create a store logo. That is how I made this logo here. I just used a template within Canva and then switched it out with my own text and graphics. Then after that, you'll also want to add in a store favicon image and I just repurposed my logo for this. Then come back to the style settings and select to update the colors. Then switch out the primary color to one that matches your brand, for me, since my store here is selling items for coffee lovers and baristas, I changed this to be a coffee bean brown. Then come back to the style settings and select to update the typography. Here you can go through and select a custom font from the free fonts that have been pre-installed. Each of these does have a license that lets you use them in your store at no cost. Now, unless you are great at selecting contrasting fonts, it is usually best and easiest in my personal experience to just use the exact same font for both the title and body text. Then come back to the style settings and select to update your social links. In here, you can add in any extra links that you have. You can also delete that link that you added in earlier when you first set up your store if you like. Then once you're done with that, we can exit out of the style settings and come back to the layout settings and then we're gonna come and click to edit the image. So come and delete the filler image that Fourth Wall has added into your store and then upload your own store image banner that you want to use. And there are two easy and free ways that you can create a store banner image. The first is to again use the free design app Canva. It has a huge inbuilt selection of both public domain and royalty free photos and images that you can use to create a store banner. Or you can use my favorite print on demand mock-up generator, place it, Place it has both a paid membership, but also a free membership, which gets you access to their free photo selection. And creating a mock-up photo with it is easy. Just choose a photo that you want to edit and then select to upload your design onto it. And then you can place it digitally onto the product and that's it. Place it will now generate your mock-up photo for you that you can use to advertise your products. Either way, it's up to you and it's your choice. And if you do want to support this channel, I will have affiliate links to both Placeit and Canva in the video description below. But yes, once you have uploaded your banner, that is it, your store is customized. All you've got to do is come back to your store dashboard and click to go live now. And just like that, your store is now live and customers can now come and buy products from you. But yes, here's what our store looks like. We've got a nice simple design that looks both clean and professional with the pop of color from our chosen brand color that we picked while customizing our store. We also have a store footer that even includes legal pages for us, such as a refund page, as Fourth Wall actually handles the tech support for things like refunds for you. So they use their own pre-generated policy. Plus you can see that they have added in your product pages for you as well and add in their own images that are automatically matched to the product variants that you sell. And when a customer decides to come and purchase a product, they'll be taken to a checkout page that also features your own custom branding that you added. Again, it's just a nice, simple, clean, professional design. Although there is admittedly one thing that we can do to make it even better. And it's this, you see, if you check out the URL for the store, you'll see that it is currently a subdomain of fourth wall, which looks kind of ugly and unprofessional. And you know what? Some customers just won't care. However, if you do have $2 to spare, then something that you can do is you can add in your own custom domain. It is optional, but if you have the spare $2, I do think it's worth it. And luckily, adding in a custom domain is very easy. 
Here's how to do it. First of all, come and sign up for a free account on the domain provider, Porkbun. They have an integration with Fourthwall, which makes connecting your domain to your store very easy. And just a warning, when you register, you'll be required to provide your personal information about yourself and where you live. This is normal and all domain providers will ask you for this as it is a legal requirement by the ICANN organization, which uses this information to track who owns what domains online. But yes, once you've created an account with Porkbun, do a search for the domain name that you want your store to be called. It will then list all of the available domain names for you. And as you can see, some of these can be bought very cheaply. For example, I could have bought the .shop domain for just $2.04 or I could have bought the .1 domain name for just $1.57 for a whole year. And so, as I said, even if you have just $2, you can add in your own custom domain name. However, in my experience, customers do prefer the .com domain name if you can, which is currently $7, so if you can spring the extra $5 for that, I do think it's a good investment. Either way, select which domain name you would like to buy and then go ahead and purchase it. Then, once it's purchased, come back to your fourth wall dashboard and click on settings and then select the domains button. Now in the box, type in your domain name. When you do, a pop-up box will appear asking if you would like to connect it to your store. Confirm that you do and it will now analyze and prepare your domain for installation and then you will get another pop-up box asking to sign into your pork bun account. Sign in, and once you've signed in, confirm that you do want to connect your domain name, and then that is it. It will now connect your domain name for you. This process can take a few minutes, but it can also take a few hours or even a day to propagate, which is perfectly normal. You can close your browser while it's doing this. But I think it's well worth it because our store now has its own custom domain name and it looks much more professional. Nice, and look, Here's the thing, right? The purpose of this video is to show you how anyone can set up a print-on-demand store with Printful for free. But I do know that a lot of people will now also be wondering after watching this video, okay, Sarah, but what are some free ways that I can now drive sales and traffic to my new store? And you know, that is a good question. And honestly, I cannot include a full traffic tutorial in this video because truthfully, that is a big topic and I would need to create dedicated tutorial videos on each marketing method. But luckily, I don't have to because there are so many free tutorials and video courses on YouTube that you can already watch that teach free traffic methods. The key though is to figure out which free traffic and marketing method that you want to learn about. And so to help you do that, I'm gonna quickly show you some free ways that you can drive traffic and sales to your new store. And the first one is this, a really great free traffic source that I highly recommend considering is learning how to do Pinterest search engine optimization, otherwise known as SEO. And to show you the power of this method, check this out. If we do a search on Pinterest for the phrase Halloween t-shirts, you can see that on the first page of results, the top pins are all for print on demand t-shirts. And if we click on the first top ranking result, you'll see that it's for a t-shirt on an independent print-on-demand store that is actually hosted on Shopify. So ranking in Pinterest search has been a great source of free traffic for the store. And you know, if you wanna learn more about this method, there are lots of free tutorials and video courses here on YouTube that teach how to optimize your pins and pictures for Pinterest. And another really great option to consider is creating a themed Instagram page in the niche that you're selling your products in. Take for example, this themed Instagram page here, TBA4. This is a funny Instagram account that creates meme pictures that people working in accounting or who are adjacent to accounting find hilarious. I myself am not an accountant and even I find these funny based on the stories that my friends who are accountants tell me. The pictures get organic free traffic and shares in the Instagram algorithm because they are very shareable. And well, if you click on the link in their Instagram bio, you'll be taken to, surprise, surprise, their print on demand merch store where they sell niche products for accountants. And I really like this traffic source for two reasons. The first is that, as you can see, there are lots of tutorial videos and video courses on YouTube already that you can watch that teach how to do this. But secondly, creating content like this is just a fun way to advertise your store that you can actually enjoy doing in your spare time. Plus, you can also do what TBA4 does and post them to Facebook as well. By doing this, they get free traffic from both Instagram and Facebook too. 
So then, if you'd like to learn even more ways to earn money for free online, be sure to watch my next video here on screen, and I'll see you in the next video.